Hello. Welcome back to the vlog today. I'm gonna try to get a good angle. We're outside walking. There's the puppy. <sighs> Look at her. She's still pretty little, still a puppy. So we're still trying to teach her leash training, but you know, it's been a while since she's been out. So I'm expecting the pulling and the craziness of the dog, but we'll just take a quick little walk and go back and do the rest of the vlog today. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how much bigger she gets. It says when I Google her, when I Googled her breed when we first got her, it said she can get anywhere between 20 to 40 pounds as a miniature American Shepherd, but she's also the runt, and so I don't know if she's almost done growing because she is the runt or if she's still got a little more time I was thinking between 20 and 30 pounds is where she was going to go but she is a newer breed the uh, American Kennel Association just like named her breed in 2019 so I don't know how much they actually know about her she is very similar to the miniature Australian Shepherd though which is where I'm getting some of my facts so we'll see She's a shepherd, so she's hyperactive, very hyperactive, so that's fun, but you gotta love her. She's cute. That's her playing with some pine cones, being crazy, but anyways, we're gonna finish our walk, and I'll see you guys later in the What'd you find? Oh my goodness. Come on, babies. What are you doing? Are you having so much fun, Nuna? Hi. Hi. We got hops today. There's Luna after the walk. Nice and tired. Tired. She's been taking naps. Some deep fried pickles. For those of you who don't know, I actually graduated from culinary school in 2017. So, you know. We'll see how this goes. I have a pot right now of oil, and I'm probably going to turn it back on so it starts to get warm again. I had it on a little, but I don't want it to, you know, get too hot and burn. I have the pickles right over here. With this, you're going to want to make sure they're dry enough so that they take the batter. Um, I'm probably going to go individually through and dry each of them out. Um, before I dip them. And then over here we have all the ingredients we need and the recipe. So we got paprika, we got black pepper, garlic salt, Italian seasoning, baking powder, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, sorry, and a cup of flour. This recipe also, you can put onion powder in it. I don't have any of that. And you can split up the garlic into garlic powder and salt, but I don't think I have just standalone garlic, so we're gonna do it this way. So we're going to take this cup of flour here and I'll put it in our bowl. And so let's go ahead and put it's however much you want in there. We're going to put lots of Italian seasoning because that's yummy. A little more. Okay. And then we're going to do the garlic salt. That's probably way more than needed, but you know, that's okay. I'm only making this for me. And then some black pepper and some paprika. Wow. Okay, so there, this is what we got. I'm going to go ahead and mix that. All right, so this is what it looks like after I mixed it all up. Now, I'm going to bring it over to the sink. 
and then I'm going to start putting water in it. I'm only going to do a little at a time, that way we don't over water, because you can always add more, but you can't take out. So we want it to be kind of like pancake batter, so that it's easy to uh, dip. Um, dip in and then you can also you know fry them so we're definitely gonna need a little more here so I'm gonna keep mixing this and getting it to the right consistency and then I will bring you guys back to show you that all right so here it is I'm pretty sure this is the consistency if not close enough to it um, I'm gonna try dipping some pickles in there and if it's still a little too thick, I'll just put a little more water in it and re-dip the pickle. So, well, let's move on over here. The oil is starting to bubble a little bit, so it's definitely almost ready. Um, I'm going to just take these paper towels and I'm going to... Like I said earlier, you really want to make sure your pickle is dried out so that it'll stick. So let's go ahead, dip this in here. And I think this is actually fantastic. It's, it's perfect. So let's go ahead and let some of that excess drip off and pull out that right there. And there you go. We got a pickle frying. It's gonna be so good. I think I put a little too much fabric in there because it's a little orange, but you know, like I said before, this is made for me, nobody else. So I'm gonna love it anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna have to take that out here in a minute. I will be right back. Look at that pickle. It just came out. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and I will show you the end result here in a moment. See you soon. All right, you guys, so there's the finished product. I'm gonna get some ranch. I'm gonna dip these in some ranch and I'm going to go and enjoy them. Um, right now they are a little too hot to do that. I'm gonna do that very soon as soon as they cool off. As you can tell, some are a little lighter than the others. Um, some are a little burnt, but um, that's okay. I'm gonna eat them and they're gonna be delicious. And uh, yeah, until next time, I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left